morning. This seems like a decent town. That's so. Okay. Howdy, viewers. Brad from Prider Bar Stone Entertainment. Doing some random encounters and other things I've run into while playing Red Dead Redemption 2. And it's kind of why playing Red Dead Redemption 2 is so fun and so interesting. I've played through four times. Maybe I've encountered some of these before, but I don't recall. And so I'm putting this video together, and they're just some random encounters and events that I've run into, and some decisions I made that changed the way things happen. That was actually something I'd heard about if you went to rescue the brother of um, Arthur's love interest, and rather than chase after him, you shoot the Chelonian leader. Well, I triggered that. On to the next event. Why don't you sit, Arthur? You okay, Arthur? I guess. He seemed kind of worried. Of course I'm worried. What about? <sighs> Our world's changing. Even I see that now. Our time pretty much passed. They don't want folk like us no more. It's their rules to be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Now it's us being hunted. Oh, they ain't stopping. We went and made our choices a long time ago. I guess we gotta pay for our sins. Oh, Arthur. What a sad world we live in. Well, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. I'm just... I'm realistic about what's coming. I can't kill an animal. Needlessly. I don't know. Arthur... Oh, Arthur, you're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. Ain't that the truth? <sighs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> you okay, Arthur? You want to talk? Yes. What's been going on with you? I don't know. I... What? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? I've been killing a lot. I mean, innocent folk. I don't know why. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well, you know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. But I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike can put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. No, there's always that. Those were two brief conversations Arthur can have with his uh, gang, bandmates, people. 
Uh, Mary Beth, Miss Tilly, I believe I've had a triggered conversation with Karen. But let's move on to this conversation, which Arthur happened upon in Valentine. You stay away from that woman, you son of a bitch! Take another drink! Think I'll have another drink? And then go see your wife. That's what I'm here for. I've rescued people from wolves from time to time, and, well, this one, I never happened. In the, so far, three times I played through, and now my fourth, I finally get this kind of wolf rescue. gentlemen and escort me home sure be happy to thank you you're a kind man a good man i don't live too far on horseback i'm sure i'd be dead now if it weren't for you I can't hardly believe you heard me scream. Truth to tell. So lucky you were there. Glad I was there too, ma'am. That was a bad situation. You know, I've been near animals all my life. Been near wolves and cougars before too, but never alone. I would have been okay if I'd had my rifle. My sister taught me how to use it when we were girls. We would go shooting at boxes and we would have near chickens. My sister's sick now. She's been sick for a while, yes. But I, I only just met her. She's been coughing for a while. And one day she lay down in bed and, and hasn't caught the move since. She'll get better. I know it. Right now I gotta take care of things. So why were you out there in the middle of nowhere? I was out hunting for food and, well, I went too far. And then I lost my rifle when one of them monsters jumped my horse. Flew out into the brush somewhere, and I, I couldn't I couldn't get it back. I was surrounded, and I tried to run as much as I could, but they were too close. One of them had a red runner of something between its jaws, like it had some kill caught there. It was my horse. I didn't know it until you showed up, and I had a moment to think on it. It had some of my horse stuff between it. Could be worse, though. A lot worse. I suppose. Oh, we're getting close. I didn't think I'd see home again. What is wrong with you? What did I do to you? I can never repay you for all you've done for me. Me and my sister. Thank you. Don't mention it. Good luck to you. Get on story. You might need it. This is a bit of an addendum to my Lake K video, which I'll leave a link to below in the description. I just found out about this and now. I'm going to enter this little shack and find a shrunken head.
And that is the thing I didn't know I could find in Lake Hay right here. And now I'm going to move on to something else. In pouring forth oil, if you wait around long enough and you don't do anything about getting a wagon, John will get it for you. And you don't have to risk Arthur's hide or possibly stab someone or anything. Yeah, you just don't do anything and John will get you the oil wagon. You never got us that oil wagon, did you? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I clean forgot. Well, don't worry. It's taken care of. Otherwise, we'd miss that train. Thank you. You're still interested in the job, ain't you? Well, yes, but, um, uh, I think we'll need another man. I like Charles Smith for this kind of thing. I'll get him. You can meet us at the wagon when you can. There's an old burnout shack up near the border north of a place called Dewberry Creek. We stashed it there. Thank you. See you, Arthur. Even you make mistakes sometimes. Sometimes. This is something I decided to do when I came across the Night Folk ambush. And rather than fall for it, I did this. Man, you all right? No other night folk came out and attacked Arthur, so yeah, why bother? They figured Arthur would kill him, so yep, I killed the fake crying woman. And that was Swanson's Bible. One last thing. I was done doing business with the trapper. And I turn around and I see a grizzly bear just ambling there. And I thought, well, this is too damn easy. I can't pass this up. If this is a three-star grizzly, yeah, I'm going to take it. You still in that pelt?
Okay, let's take a look at it. And there you have it, folks. If you found this video interesting and informative, hit the thumbs up button. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post seven video game related videos a week and you want to stay informed. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.